Hey there viewers, Eric O. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to test the vehicle, any vehicle, for a blown head gasket. Our test vehicle here today is a 2002 Dodge Grand Caravan. The guy left me a note on the back of the cereal box, a lengthy note. The moral of the story is, a radiator hose blew, it was overheated severely, he replaced the radiator hose, and now it wants to overheat, he has no heat on the inside, and it blows all the coolant out into the overflow jug. In order to test this vehicle, what I'm going to be looking for is combustion gas in the radiator. So essentially what can happen is the head gasket will rupture and allow exhaust gas to come into the radiator. And we're going to use this little tester here. You can pick this up at Napa. I've seen them on Amazon and all over the internet. It's a cylinder block tester or what do they call it? A universal combustion leak tester. And I'm going to show you how that works. It's a pretty simple process and I'm 90% certain we're going to find this van has a blown head gasket. The first thing you're going to want to do is wait for the vehicle to cool down remove the radiator cap, and drain down some of the antifreeze until it's about mm, eight inches from the top. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take your mysterious blue fluid, fill it up to the line in your tester. The next thing we're gonna do is start the vehicle. We're gonna take our tester here. We're gonna stick this part of it right on the radiator filler neck. What we'll do is we'll pump the primer bulb here and that's gonna draw air from the radiator up through the tester. If the head gasket's blown, this test fluid's gonna turn from blue to a slight green color to yellow. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the vehicle. We're gonna check it out when the vehicle's cold, and then we're gonna continue the test as the vehicle warms up until we get some really definitive results, if any at all. I've got the engine running, and it's cold right now. appears to be changing slightly green. already see the test fluid starting to turn yellow. It's already turned a pretty light green color. I'm going to go ahead and let the vehicle warm up because typically when they're warm, it'll be a lot worse. So I went ahead and replenished the fluid. The vehicle's pretty much warmed up now or on its way. And I just stuck it on there. It's on the radiator. I'm not even pumping it. You can see the gas that's actually coming up through there. I'm going to go ahead and rev it up and show you what happens. So you can see how that test is done and, well, the results in this case are pretty definitive. I'd say that's yellow. Anyhow, it's all over but the crying now, so if you are suspicious of your own vehicle or you're working on a vehicle and you just want to know for sure, is that putting combustion gas in the radiator? This is one way to find out. You can use a five gas analyzer, but I assume if you have one of those, you're probably not looking on YouTube wondering how to check for a blown head gasket. So anyhow, I hope you find this video helpful. I hope it helps you solve your overheating problems or suspicions of blown head gaskets. If it does and you like our video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and like us on Facebook.